Let's keep them going around here, zombies. Keep on looping them around. Come on. Come on, lads. Just a little, nice little decoration there. Gonna go back around here as well. And part of the Easter egg, I think, is to actually include those Buddhas. The Easter egg is crazy, man. The Easter egg always gets more and more crazy. Um, the zombie developers that, that work on the Easter eggs are just crazy, crazy people. They really, like, put themselves... They really get themselves involved deeply with the zombie storyline and take it really, 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 really seriously, which is cool. Definitely uh, thinking about what they're doing and not doing it half, half-heartedly, which is awesome. Can't really complain about that, can you? Let's keep on shooting to these guys and getting some points for it. Just going to make sure when you're facing the other way, you don't fall off a map, which is a possibility as well. But of course, we don't need to shoot into them like this. Uh, uh, it's kind of a waste to go and get that. I'm going to leave that for one more one more turn of the map. Ah, oh, they're all flipping. They're all, they're all popping. Huh, I think the zombies guys said they like it when the zombie... Where did the... I thought it... I swear it was um, a bomb that was, that was there, not an insta-kill. Just going to spray into these zombies, get rid of them. We aren't really, like, low on points or anything, so we don't necessarily need to knife them. Let's go and shoot that guy. Uh, of course, they're taking a while to get into the map now, aren't they? Cool. So you can actually set, set up a flipper like here, go around the map, walk up here, leave the flipper and just stand here and watch them get flipped, which is again something something else we could use as well, be it, if we choose to do so, it should be sweet. Let's go and make sure that, uh, oh, oh, someone's upset, is the moon angry, what's going on here? Going, this PDW is going to die out of ammo soon, very, very, very soon, I reckon. We should probably hit up the mystery box at some point, probably switch it out for a ray gun or something cool like that. Actually, we, we, we need a third gun, we can get a third gun, so why not? <coughs> why not go and get one, take advantage of the free perk we got, and actually put it to good use, so that would be cool. Oh, two zombies hitting us quickly there, I see how it is, I see how it is, zombies. Not appreciated, guys, not appreciated. Let's go and keep on shooting into them. There's so many of them, but um, what else can I talk about when it comes to zombies? Um, the difficulty of zombies is certainly, I think, increasing, I'd say. Um, I don't know, I mean, to be honest, there's always, you know, like a gun, like the, like the slick refire in this map, which is a beast. There's always a gun where if you're a good zombies player, you find a, a, find a place to set up, you can um, get to, like, round 100 or whatever, if you know what you're doing, so... I guess, you know, the maps get harder for the general players, I guess, but uh, in their base form, then if you're a really, really, really good player, you can always get to a higher round. I've never attempted myself to get to around 100 plus. I reckon, in all honesty, wow. I reckon, in all honesty, if I thought about it and uh, gave it a go and left my Xbox on the stuff, I could do it, but just something doesn't really interest me. Like, anyone can do it if they, if they have the right setup, so that's cool. Oh, we actually have, ironically, two zombies left at the end of this round. So I think this would be a good time to go and set up maybe the um, flipper. If not the flipper, perhaps the mystery box. What else is there we could try and... Yeah, mystery box. Okay, let's go and, let's go and do that. Let's go and do that. Let's go and try and jump that way. Suspend some of our points traveling around the map. I'm going to see if there's any lifts ready for me to take or not. I don't think... There is. No, they're not. They're spawning back on the map again. Was, yeah, they're sprinting. Damn you zombies sprinting at me like that. Okay, let's go and open this door. Then we can come back around here. And why, wait, why am I going this way? I don't even know. It's assuming the lifts will be ready. Which is dumb. Let's just go back up again. Actually, let's just bring them down here. Let's have fun with them. Let's toy with them for a little bit and watch them run around gotta wait for these lifts. The thing is that's why I don't like like if on some maps if you knew where you were going and you went down you could just you know leg it to wherever the uh, perk was but on this map you just gotta wait around for ages sometimes. Um, but once that lift comes I'm gonna bring them back over here and then try and make the lift go up before the zombies get to it so I'm not suffering. I'm gonna try and maybe if I shoot oh wow you don't want to shoot into the zombies though of course if you shoot into them then they are going to disappear at some point. Oh, I can definitely hear, definitely hear one of the uh, machines coming up. I hear you, buddy. I'm with you. Oh, look, I already have that perk. I got it for free. Lol, 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 lol. Oh, lag, 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 lag. Can I pause it? 
Okay, cool. Yeah, I can, of course. Solo. Solo. Sweet. Let's keep on going back around this way. <laughs> the realization and I'm playing solo zombies. Good job, man. Good job. Let's keep on going around here. So that's going to go down one floor in a second. If we, There we go. So I've got to bring the zombies over here. Got to bring the zombies over in this direction. And then once they're over here, I'm going to leave put that on the floor and then hope they slip over or not they're not going to slip over I see how it is going to keep on going up what the heck they're glitching mate I thought they ran at you when the, when the like, lift was moving yeah they do run at you don't know why they were doing that earlier but whatever I know I know I know it's a hard life it's a hard life being a zombie okay now that's what we want to get the bowie knife that would be awesome um, have we opened the have we opened the door down to here? I think we have. Oh no, we haven't. Okay, may as well may as well open that as well. Um, of course, you could. Wow. Okay, I see how it is. I see how it is. Hit me in the face just when I don't want to be hit in the face. And there's the other zombie. Want to try? Yep. Okay. Cool. There we go. Cool. So when we knife, we get the sweet barry knife, which will help us. For the rat rounds, which you don't really need anymore, I guess. I know, I'm an idiot. You can you can get extra perks. I completely forget what I said, going back. In my brain, I knew that you could get more perks from knifing those guys and um, setting up nicely and stuff. But uh, once you got the perk bottle, you could, of course, um, get more perks than normal. Just for some reason, my brain malfunctioned. I can't buy it physically, though. I literally have to do it that other method. Or the other method, sorry, not that other method. Um, where are we heading now? Down here. And uh, the mystery box. I'm trying to think where it is. There's several routes where it could be. Um, hmm. Okay, now you can. This is where strafe jumping does actually work. If I get this zombie to follow me, you can strafe jump back into where I think the mystery box may be so you can actually or maybe they've patched it maybe I'm just not doing it properly okay there's a little jump so basically you see all these little things here you can't physically jump back over it right but if you go back here I don't know if that works or not I'm gonna have to see I'm gonna get this freaking zombie away from me come on start falling over or something come on fall over there we go thank you trip up on the slime and then we need to Okay, damn it, there's another freaking zombie. You need to fall on some slime as well, I reckon. Thank you. Go and fall on that slime for me, bud. Oh my gosh, you annoying zombies. You need to get them both to trip up in the same place. There's some slime over here. You can fall over. Or just slip around if you want. Whatever floats your boat, buddy. And then we need to try... Oh man, I don't think it works anymore. I think they may have patched it. Maybe that wasn't supposed to happen. Huh. Is the mystery box there? Yeah, damn it. See, it is there. You can't... Can you get on it? I can't even tell. Wow. Okay, we're getting freaking smacked in the face. That's not very nice. Freaking zombies. Let's lead them away. Let's lead them away. Let's lead them like some place which is just far, far away. Round here, for example. Come on. Come on, zombies. Come to a place where you're not wanted. And then... Pow! See you later, buddy. Hide and seek gone wrong for them. And then now we can try it. Yes, it worked. That's what I'm talking about, buddy. That's what I'm talking about, buddy. And now we can finally hit the mystery box. I thought it worked. Uh, whatever. You can take that as the third weapon, but. Oh! Hello. Yes, cool. Me blends together, of course. Blends together. Mixes together. I used to love this in my Piston Life Only series. What is that we've got there? Tar, mm, meh. We've got three guns though. It's kind of confusing having three guns. I'm not gonna lie. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Wait, what? One, two. One, two. Where'd my third weapon go? And oh, no, I do have three weapons. Why am I confusing myself so freaking much? Okay, I don't even know what that was. That could have been a ray gun. I've just missed it, which would suck. Uh, cap, again, sucky, but I'm just going to keep on rocking the um, 
the mystery box until we hopefully get a ray gun or something. Ah, uh, damn. No, nah, that's not what we want. Let's go and shoot the ammo of this. I don't know why they decided to put the FAL back in specifically, but whatever. But this is quite a cool tactic to get back into the... Ooh. Oosh. Yes, please. Monkey bombs. This is a very cool tactic to get back into this room. Um, it's doing that little jump, so it's basically a strafe jump. It's funny about us talking about a strafe jump earlier on in the video, but it comes relevant at that point. You just got to make sure you're running at an angle, and then you can push yourself over there. It's got a little cheeky, cheeky little pistol. I love this pistol, man. Look at it. I don't think I think the fire rate of it's capped a little bit. I think I could shoot it a little bit faster than that, but the uh, game caps your fire rate, unfortunately. So. So if it's taking a little bit while, but we just want to make sure we're set up nicely for the other rounds. Oh wow, it's moved anyway. Damn. Uh, I don't really want the RPG. Hey, what's that? What the frick? Colt. What? Okay, wait a second. Colt. Is that the M8? Oh, I'm being an idiot. It's just the M16. That's cool, though. I'll take that. I'm not complaining. Okay, so now we're going to head back to the room. We did a good job, though. Cannot complain. Um, we got we got the uh, monkey bombs. We got another weapon, which is always useful. Uh, not needed, of course. I think there's a little room around here somewhere where you can completely glitch out the game and um, basically just stand in one place and the zombies will spawn right in front of you, pretty much. We don't want to do that though, it will be a bit boring, so we're going to go back to the room we were in and uh, move around a little bit. Uh, we've got the M16 which is cool, we haven't pack a punch anything. We've got a slick 5 decent amount of ammo as well, so I can't complain about that. And we've got the monkey bombs of course, so that's really cool. Wow. Wow. Oh wow. That's going to screw me up man. Having, having three weapons. Uh, maybe I'm going to regret having three weapons in the near future because it's going to screw me up. So back, having a few weapons, if I double tap to quickly switch to a different weapon, it's not going to work. Which kind of sucks. I wonder if that room has something to do with mystery easter egg or something. Definitely doesn't doesn't work as a normal thing. Maybe I should have kept the ballistic knife actually and just used that on the monkey round. Oh uh, well, each to his own I guess. There's lots of things I could have done there, but we certainly didn't waste our time, so that was cool. Certainly very cool. So we're going to keep on running around here and um, setting up. Pardon me, setting up, which is awesome. Oh, wow, pardon me. Jeez, being eaten too much, but... Something which is relevant to talk about, I guess, is um, the next Call of Duty, which I always am happy to talk about, um, but I'll just talk about it briefly, I guess, and also the next generation consoles. Uh, one thing I'm doing at the moment, at the time of making this video, is I asked you guys, so it isn't the 20th of February at the time of making this video, the 20th of February is when uh, Sony are having their massive uh, announcement, a massive event, just for Sony, where 99% sure they're going to announce a PS4. If they don't announce a PS4, people are going to just be mad at them, because, like, what are they freaking announcing? It's going to be the PS4. Um, so that's cool, um, and as I talked to you guys, I guess I should kill some of these zombies as well. Um, but I am not biased towards either the Xbox or PS3 or Nintendo or anything like that. Um, when I was a little kid, back in the day when the Wii and the Xbox and the PS3 came out, I was really biased. I went around telling everyone that if you didn't own a Wii, you were a noob. And if you owned an Xbox, you were, uh, you were uncool. And if you owned a PlayStation, you were uncool. But now, you know, I really don't care. They're all, they're all cool consoles, I own it, all the consoles I own, a Wii, a Wii U, an Xbox 360 and a PS3, and I'll get both a PS4 and an Xbox 720, I highly doubt I'll be called the Xbox 720 um, when it comes out. The PS4 seems like a likely name, um, just because they've always done that, but um, the Xbox 720 seems more of a fan-made sort of like a, assumption name, like people just like, oh, it's going to be the Xbox 720, I don't think it will be the 720, like... 360 makes sense, it's a circle, 720 is a double circle, like it just doesn't make any sense. Unless they're going to have like some sort of 3D implementation of two circles or something, I don't really know, or spinning 360 logo, I'm not really sure what they're going to do with that one to be honest. Thank you. It's another round out of out, so it's interesting to see what they do. And one thing I was arguing is just the fact that, um, sorry, I'm always fiddling with my hair, I need a freaking haircut, get it cut off. And um, one thing I'm always arguing is, um, not arguing, but saying is that. You know, back then, when the GameCube, the PS1, and the Xbox were the main consoles, 
the jump in graphical terms from that to the PS4 and the X, uh, sorry, the PS3 and the Xbox 360, the graphical jump was huge. I remember playing a racing game with my friend's Xbox 360 for the first time. I was like, this is amazing. <laughs> and uh, you got all of the Call of, the Call of Duties came out and everything. You know, what else? You've got Resident Evil, Tra Drake's Uncharted on the uh, PS3. They're all insanely like upgraded graphical v um, games compared to the GameCube, the PS2, uh, and, you know, the old one. I said PS1 initially, didn't I? But the jump now from the current graphics that we have to the PS4 and the Xbox 720, the graphics won't won't be a selling point for me. Like, you can't massively improve 1080 graphics, and the next step in terms of TV revolution, resolution and such is uh, 4K TVs with a resolution I think is 4,000 by something rather than 1,280, uh, 9,000. And 20 by 10, 10, 80. God, I'm talking lots of stuff here. Which you guys probably like say what? Um, but it's it's interesting if you know what I'm on about. I guess so. That's cool. Hope you guys, hope you guys know what I'm on about. And then the next Call of Duty, of course. I am really, for the very first time, very unsure what the next Call of Duty is going to be. I think, from a marketing standpoint, what was that sound? I think I maybe have lost a permanent perk or lost something, I'm not sure. Not sure what's happening there, bro, but whatever. Let's go and shoot that guy and get him to loop around and hit some of the other zombies. Um, but Modern Warfare 4 is what everyone's sort of leaning towards at the moment. But the Modern Warfare series is supposed to be a trilogy, so you know, you've got 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we've had all, four, uh, all three. Um, so to then have Modern Warfare 4, unless they re release. That could be it. That could be it. Since the next generation consoles are coming out, um, why not release Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4 as Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare redone? So remake Call of Duty 4 with better graphics, updated servers, and all of that good stuff. That, that could be a cool idea. May do a video on that or talk about it a little bit.